Welcome back to Good Day, everyone. I'm live here at Spencefield for the third and final day of the Sunbelt Ag Expo. And yesterday, I learned all sorts of ways to become a farmer on tractors and all sorts of farm equipment. But today, I'm live here in the dairy barn, and I'm getting a little lesson in being a dairy cow. I'm here with John Bernard. He is from the UTA Extension Office down in Tipton. And uh, I'm going to give a lesson in how to milk a cow that's, this morning. That's right. All righty. This used to be a common thing that most people did in the morning uh, and before you went to school or whatever and you got your milk and sometimes you drank the milk sometimes you separated the cream and used that to make butter and other products all right um, but we're going to get a quick get a lesson, lesson here okay all right so we're here with lisa yes and she, she's perfectly okay and going to be comfortable during she's, the whole she's going to be fine all she's right. going to be fine not to squeeze her too that's much. right <laughs> Okay. You, do, you do want to be gentle, All right. and you want this to be a pleasurable experience to the cow as well as yourself. Okay. And um, <laughs> they get more milk that way. There you go. If they get frightened or, or feel pain or anything else, they, they basically don't give milk down. So, Makes sense. Uh, so hopefully I'll do a good job. And yeah. they milk out faster when you when you do it. Uh, and, and it's one of those things that uh, you get used to. So. Okay. But uh, what we do a lot of times to get the cow started, we'll just rub her and get her prepped here and we've we've already done a little bit of that here yes. in between the shots so she's ready to go and uh, basically we've got a bucket Pull here and um, depending on your aim <laughs> basically you can start and you start and that's, all here. It. that's all it is right-handed so or left-handed any tips it's you can use both okay well there you go when you Woo. get started <laughs> and i just pull down and squeeze yes oh i'm not there you, there you go. go. And the, she's comfortable doing this. She right? is. You At mentioned least. it's kind of like toothpaste. Kind of like toothpaste. I feel like I'm There's squeezing some... too hard. Well, this, this, oh, uh, she's, she's fine. She's getting agitated. <laughs> no, she's fine. Okay. She's just trying to check and see what's going She's wanting to lay down. It's, oh, so. <laughs> Lisa's not very good on live TV. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> she's a big cow here. She is a big cow. So she's not. Oh, live TV, it's an early morning. Yeah, here, let me get her up. <laughs> Come on, girl. She weighs about 1,600 pounds, well, so you just don't... let her sit down if she wants to sit then. Come on. So she's she, like, hey, it's 5.30 in the morning. I want to sleep. She said, I'm ready to lay back down <laughs> and uh, rest here for a little while. You mentioned that they eat, they milk, they sleep, they yeah, eat, they milk. That's right. They spend a lot right. of time. They go out and eat real quick. I mean, these are herd animals. They like to go out and eat very quickly. Okay. And then they go someplace and lay down. And they regurgitate that cud and chew it. So if you see, if you hear somebody chew talk chew. about chewing the cud, why well, that's what she's doing well, ninety percent of the time. I appreciate you teaching, letting me teach, learn how to milk, milk you. But uh, I'm going to give it one more shot because I'm going to be live here in the Spence Field a little bit longer this morning, learning all sorts of different things that they've got here at the UGA. There you go. I can be a dairy cow. A dairy milker. I'm a That's right. Cow. That's right. <laughs> we'll no. be back with more good day after this. <laughs> okay.